You guys have been loving these things and I totally get why because man, some of the stuff is so, so good. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Aralia and the content that I provide here on YouTube is all around plus size style and fashion. I love to go shopping. I love to bring you the stuff that I've been buying and I love to help you make better purchasing decisions. I am bringing you your favorites that I have seen you guys buying from all the stuff that I've been presenting here on my channel and on Like to Know It and Instagram. I have never done favorites in this way. It's an excellent, excellent way of doing that. This is not my idea. I actually follow Marnie Goldberg and she does this on her channel and I thought that's brilliant. So I too am taking her lead and I am presenting you favorites from the perspective of the stuff that you guys have been loving. I am going to throw in a few things that I also do enjoy. I'll have Marnie's most recent video linked in the description bar for you down below. You should follow her. She's pretty cool. I'm going to start from 10 and work my way down because, you know, I love to build excitement like that. Number 10 is actually a three-way tie. It's a three-way tie between the ribbed knit top from H&M, the one with the black trim and the sweetheart neckline. The dress pants from H&M that I showed in that same video and the whole knit sweater from H&M. So H&M is down for the three-way tie at number 10. Starting out with the rib knit sweater, it was a really beautiful sweater and I'm so happy that you guys liked it. I thought that it was so pretty and it was a perfect sweater for a Valentine's date night that wasn't your typical red and pink and you know all of that. It was actually quite sexy, quite sophisticated and not screaming Valentine's Day. I returned it because I didn't I don't know I just didn't feel like I needed that sweater and now I regret it I'm suffering from a little bit of FOMO but it's okay it's a beautiful sweater and I know that you guys really liked it so I'm so glad that I was able to bring that to you the dress pants from H&M they're really really good and the only reason that I returned them was because I ordered the wrong size I haven't placed another H&M order I want to here pretty soon so I may grab those pants again in the right size I really really love like them. I was very impressed by them. The fabric quality was so good for being inexpensive. And that's the beautiful thing about H&M though, is that they're really, really good with basics on a lot of occasions, not always, but on a lot of occasions, they are very, very good for helping to get those basics, especially the workwear basics. I see these pants working very, very well in an office environment or if you have to dress up a lot. This is a really beautiful pant. So I'm really happy that you guys enjoyed or really liked that one as well. And then the whole knit sweater uh, was a striped sweater substitute for the uh, funnel neck striped sweater that I showed you guys that sold out really, really quickly and you guys really liked it. So I'm glad that I was able to offer you a workable alternative. And I think that this particular sweater is actually going to be better at transitioning from winter to spring because it is of a lighter knit than the navy blue sweater that I have. It's right on trend. I'm thinking of maybe I should grab that one for myself as well since I'm stripes crazy at the moment. What came in at number nine are the four pack of woven elastic belts from Amazon. And again, really, really glad that you enjoyed those. I know that I am going to wear those non-stop this summer. You guys are going to get tired of seeing them. I'm just warning you right now because they are that good. I am so excited to be able to start wearing my spring and summer clothes so that I can wear those belts because I know they're going to work really, really well in my wardrobe. And so very excited that you guys picked those up too. I think that's excellent value for money. It's one of those inexpensive Amazon finds that is going to make such a huge impact in your summer wardrobe. It really will, I think. And so I'm happy to see that you guys pick those up. Number eight is the blue and white striped cotton poplin button down shirt from H&M. And again, so excited and happy that you guys like that top. It is such a good, good shirt. I'm going to wear that shirt out. I know it already because I wear it at least once, maybe twice a week since I've gotten it. And I love to style it. I love playing with it. And it's just one of the best finds that I have gotten from H&M. It is seasonless. You can wear this shirt year round 
to the office, running around, layer it with it. You know, you can do all kinds of things with this shirt, no matter what time of year, but especially right now, because it is such a beautiful blue and white stripe. It's a great top for transitioning from winter to spring. I think that this is an absolute wardrobe staple that you should have. And it's such a good fit and it's a great fabric. It's well made and it is affordable. It checks so many boxes. And so I'm happy to see that you guys agreed with me on that one. Number seven is one that I haven't even really shown here on my channel. I did a YouTube short of it. I showed a picture on the community tab of it and you guys have been eating it up. And it is the Scoop Cotton Poplin shirt dress. That's the one with the twist. It's blue and green. It is so good, except it runs a little small, so you will want to size up on that one for sure. But the cotton poplin is such a lovely fabric. It is such a unique silhouette, I think, for a spring dress. Something that I have not seen in at all, I don't think, in all of the spring dress shopping that I've been doing in the last four or five years. I love that dress. I especially love the color combination. It is such an unusual color combination, but it is so striking. And then with that twist on the side, and it's just fantastic and it's such a lovely silhouette that's very different from your typical spring floral stripes are so springtime appropriate as I've said I think already once before and so this dress does not disappoint I'm happy to see that you guys have been enjoying this dress y'all have been gobbling it up man I'm telling you just eating it up and I'm happy that I was able to provide you this recommendation because it is such a beautiful dress number six is the pink puffy bag from Walmart. I think it's time and true. I debated a lot on whether I should keep it or return it, but I really don't need another handbag necessarily. But I'm still feeling a little bit of regret for having returned it because the color is so beautiful. It is this fantastic saturated pink color and the, the bag construction for the price point that it is, is actually quite good. And I was really, really impressed with this bag. It's easily a designer inspired bag with the quilting and the stitching and all of that. But the color is really what struck me about this bag. And the construction, of course, was very, very good. It was very roomy and it was lovely. And it's such a beautiful pop of pink for spring and summer. And you guys have been loving this bag. So I'm really, really super glad that you like this bag. I'm feeling a lot of FOMO for having returned it. Maybe I'll pick it up again because I don't have a pink bag, like a bright pink bag in my bag collection. So maybe, anyway, I'm talking myself into getting it. Ugh, see, that's what happens when I make these videos. Um, but anyway, it doesn't only come in pink. It, has, it also comes in white and black and maybe another color. I'm not 100% sure, but I will be sure to have everything that I'm talking about, by the way, linked in the description bar down below. It's also in my LTK shop, so follow me there and follow me on Instagram too. That way you can get style inspiration, daily outfit inspiration, all of that from both of those places. Number five is the time and true orange eyelet dress that I showed you guys, the tiered dress. I'm so happy that you guys love that dress. I know I love that dress. I am so looking forward to being able to wear it. Right now we're at like snowy and 35 degrees. So it's gonna be a while yet before I can pull that dress out. But I know that a lot of you are in the South or in warm climate. So those of you that have picked it up, congratulations. You have got yourself a multitasking dress for the season. That is such a beautiful, beautiful dress. The orange is incredibly flattering, I think, on a lot of different skin tones. And I absolutely love that it is 100% eyelet all the way down. I'm so happy to have brought that to you because it is really a gorgeous dress. You guys are gonna get so much wear out of it. And I have to say that I was really, really impressed with the construction of the dress down to the cotton liner that the dress has. This dress has got a lot of body because they used cotton and it is fantastic 
fantastic, fantastic. I think that this dress is so well made and it's gonna give you great cost per wear because of its construction. As long as you take really good care of your clothes, I think I wanna make a video about how to care for your clothes. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up and that will tell me that you guys want to see something like that. But this dress is going to do so much for you this spring and summer. I know that you guys are going to love it once you get a chance to wear it if you haven't already. Number four, the time and true eyelet dress. I picked the dress up in navy blue. You guys have been eating it up. I really like that dress a lot. Uh, it's smocked on the top. It's got the eyelet on the sleeves and the eyelet at the hem. And it, for us petites, at least for me at five feet tall, it hits me right, uh, right just below the knees, which I feel is a flattering spot for me. And I really like the dress. I think it is very, very beautiful. And you guys have obviously been enjoying that dress quite a bit as well, because I've got a lot of you that have picked that up and so excited for you because you picked up a really beautiful spring dress. Now what I will say is that the sleeves tend to fall a little bit. You might want to put some tape on your shoulder in order to keep it up but you know fashion tape is super easy to use and you just put the fashion tape on your bra and it's a double-sided sticky tape that we stylists use all the time and uh, it will help to keep things in place. Um, no harm no foul. I know that you guys are going to really really enjoy it so if you haven't picked it up it's still available and uh, go ahead and grab it because I think that's one of the prettier dresses of the spring so number three is the time and true pink gauzy fabric dress is what I'm calling it reflecting on it and looking at all of the pictures that I took and have been posting on like to know it and social media I really love this pink dress I think that this dress has got such a flattering cut and I actually have a poll going right now on Instagram asking you for help on which one I should keep, the navy blue eyelet dress or this hot pink dress from Time and True. I am struggling um, because the navy blue eyelet dress, as pretty as it is, doesn't have pockets and I feel that the smocking makes my really makes my torso look very boxy whereas the pink dress it's got a chevron cut to the bodice and it's just a lot more flattering I think on my body type but I'm asking you guys for help on Instagram so in full transparency I'm not sure which one that I want to keep both of them are really beautiful dresses, which is why I'm struggling so much. But the pink dresses, I don't know. It's made of a really, really lightweight, gauzy style fabric. It's got a tear at the bottom. It's very long. So you're hitting that maxi trend that's going right now. You're hitting the color trend. I mean, it's a really beautiful dress and you can wear a conventional bra with it. Plus you can adjust it because it ties up at the top. So you can make adjustments to the sleeve hole if you need to lovely lovely dress i think very much worth the money it's going to be one that you will wear on repeat all spring and summer long number two on the list is throwing back to winter a little bit and it's just because of course february was cold and that's the scoop v-neck sweaters you guys have sold those sweaters out i'm not saying that it's because of me but you know maybe it was but you guys have sold those sweaters out the only color that's available right now in all sizes is the orange and i'm so surprised by that because orange is such a huge color that's trending right now but the beautiful thing about this sweater even if you pick up the orange one is that you'll be able to participate in the color trend right now and it is a lightweight enough knit that you could transition it from winter to spring grab the orange one if you haven't you've picked up a really beautiful sweater no matter what color you grabbed they're really really good number one on the list is a surprise to me but maybe not really and that is the ponty knit flared pant with the slit and i think probably this is the most popular thing because you guys are probably sick and tired of seeing me wearing wide leg pants and talking about wide leg pants i finally brought a different silhouette to the channel and you guys have been eating it up and i'm so glad because those pants are very very comfortable they're very well made they're great for work they're great for play they are perfection the sad thing about it is is that almost all colors are completely sold out except for the charcoal gray the charcoal gray still has several sizes available 
So even if you didn't pick it up in navy, charcoal gray is still a great color to wear year round. And so grab them if you haven't because they're super, super comfortable pants. And I really like wearing them. They're actually refreshing for me because I've been wearing wide leg pants for so long. It's It was time for me to make a change. And I think you guys agreed by snatching a bunch of those up. So congratulations, you have picked up a wonderful pair of pants. All right, I'm gonna touch on a few things that I myself have been loving. Just a couple of things, mostly makeup. Well, first of all, well, I have been on a makeup no buy since oh probably about mid 2022. I am trying really really hard to use up a lot of the makeup that I have or at least use it and determine what I want to keep and what needs to go and I've got still a lot of eyeshadow palettes that I'm working through so what I do every month is I will pick out my palettes for the month and use them and see if they bring me joy. If they don't bring me joy, then I know that they need to go in the get rid of pile. I have been slowly but surely decluttering my eyeshadow palettes in this way. The two that I have been using, I actually have truly been enjoying and it is the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette, which to me that feels like an unsung hero in the Urban Decay lineup. I'm not even sure if it's still available. I'll have to check if it is, I will have it linked in the description bar down below. And then the other one is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, which I do believe Urban Decay discontinued. That's a travesty to me because the Born to Run palette is actually a lot more flexible than the Honey palette. The Naked Honey is a brown and yellow undertoned and gold undertone palette, which actually I love. I really, really love that color story during the um, winter and spring months, and I forgot how much I loved it. What I really like about the Born to Run palette is that it has got some warm neutrals, cool neutrals, and it's also got some color in it. It's got purple and pink and blue and teal, and so it really offers you the opportunity to create a lot of different looks that's what I have on my eyes today is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I've got a like an apricot in the crease and the purple on the lid and it was a really quick and easy eye look that I think has a lot of visual impact. Um, so I've really really been loving those two palettes. If they are still available, if I can find them anywhere, I will be sure to have them linked in the description bar below. Also, another question for you, would you guys like to see what my makeup selections are for each month? Because what I do is I shop my stash and I pick out the things that I wanna wear for the month. And would you like to see me showing you that? A lot of the stuff is gonna be older and possibly discontinued because I don't really buy new makeup anymore, but some of the stuff is still around. So maybe it will inspire you to dig up some of your older stuff that's no longer available. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see see a monthly roundup of what I am shopping my stash for for my makeup. The other thing that I have absolutely been loving is something actually that I picked up in the summer before I went on my no buy and that is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Cherries in the Snow. I don't know why I got a bug up my butt to get my hands on that lipstick. I know what it was. I heard Warren's Cherry Pie on the radio and was reminiscing about how when I heard that song, I had to go out and I tried several different reds to try and find the most beautiful red and Cherries in the Snow was one of the ones that I picked up because of course it had the word cherry in it. And so I was reminiscing about that and it just made me very nostalgic for that lipstick. So I grabbed it and I have been wearing it a lot. It's the most beautiful pinky red lipstick and it's gorgeous and it's perfect for this time of year and so i have really 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 been gravitating to that and i love that lipstick guys and it's drugstore it is drugstore do you know that cherries in the snow was actually mentioned in the marvelous mrs mazel season one when she was working at the cosmetics counter and she mentioned cherries in the snow so it has been around forever and I like that. I love the fact that we've got this shade of red that is so classic that it's been around since the 50s, maybe even earlier than that, who knows. But, hi sweetheart. But I really, really love this lipstick. I think that it is a stunner. Pick it up if you haven't. It's a beautiful, beautiful, very wearable uh, pinky red tone. And then the last thing that I wanted to mention was one of my favorites. <laughs> She's being very insistent. The one of the last things that is uh, my favorite is that 
funnel neck striped sweater from H&M. I will be very, very heartbroken if I can't get the orange stain gonna be heartbroken if I can't salvage it. I'm gonna do my best though because I just got it. But anyway, I love that sweater. It has been one that I've been wearing so much in addition to, of course, the striped cotton poplin button-down shirt from H&M. That's another one that I've just been adoring. And so those are my favorite picks. That's everything that I have for you. Before I exit out though, I would like to say thank you so, so, so very much for shopping the links that I leave you. Oh, well, maybe, maybe I'll be able to get this video closed out. Holy moly. Anyway, I would like to say thank you so, so much for shopping the links that I leave below. It really is helping to support my business. It supports my channel. I'm so very grateful for you. And this favorites list is a result because of you. And I truly appreciate everything that you do for me. And yeah, I, I, that's that's just it. That's that's what I wanted to say. So with that being said, thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I truly appreciate it. I'm going to leave you with another video here that YouTube thinks you may enjoy as well as my most recent upload. So I hope to see you in my next upload. Remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. Bye.